California hosts a wide range of unique biological resources due to its diverse climate and geography, and is home to several large bird species, in particular the California condor and the golden eagle, which are protected at state and federal levels. Our project strives to reduce and eliminate any bird strikes, whether a bird-to-train collision or a bird-to-wire collision. But these larger birds present a more unique challenge. The High Speed Rail Authority proposed a design concept to eliminate electrocution risk to these larger birds whose habitat and range overlap with the extent of the high-speed train. This simulation looks at one location of interest, the west side of Pacheco Pass, just east of the city of Gilroy. As we zoom in to the guideway where it crosses Pacheco Creek, You'll note the train comes into view and passes under the OCS. Due to the size difference between Golden Eagle and California Condor, we proposed two different modifications that would accommodate the dimensions of fully grown members of their respective species. Shown here is a solution that's been proposed for the Raptors. The OCS contains the main elements required to support the conveyance of electricity to the train. The first is the negative feeder wire, shown in green. The pantograph on the roof of the train vehicle is delivered electricity via the messenger or contact wire, shown in red. In order to eliminate electrical short circuits, each support pole is electrically connected by a ground wire, which ensures that any surge or buildup of electricity will be directed into the ground where it dissipates. The feeder and messenger wires are kept electrically isolated by insulators, shown here in black. Here in the simulation is a bird landing on the horizontal support for the messenger wire. With wings outstretched, the bird could potentially make contact with the grounded pole and be electrocuted. Shown here is a solution that's been proposed for the raptors. The distance between the negative feeder wire and the ground pole has been extended. The ground wire has been moved lower on the ground pole. Bird perch turrets have been installed on the ground and negative feeder wires on either side of the ground pole. And the greatest change has been the addition of the live loop to the messenger wires and supports, shown in red. The live loop would be an electrically conductive material that allows for a bird to perch on the top of the pole without being electrocuted if it touched the pole or the wire, and deters the bird from perching on the horizontal support like the previous image showed. Here we show the potential perch locations and respective minimum clearance distances required to protect the birds. The California condor dimensions are now shown. Note how much larger the wingspan is. The live loop concept is the same, but you can see that the wires are further from the pole to allow for that increase in size. I hope this short presentation has been helpful in illustrating how the authority takes the preservation and protection of our native species very seriously and are actively designing solutions to mitigate risks that arise from the California High Speed Rail project. All of us who work on this project care deeply about the preservation of our environment and biodiversity. High Speed Rail will help us meet California's most ambitious climate goals and this design helps us build it in a way that protects our heritage birds too.